Welcome back to What's Next Garage. Today we're starting out by cleaning up all the floor dry. Finally got it to soak up all that antifreeze and we're tossing her in a can. That's going to be an awful heavy garbage can. So we're using a harmonic balance puller from OEM Tools. This is a nice, compact, simple to use and really works well for getting the harmonic balancers off. So what you do is you get the three jaws on the little pads that are cast into the harmonic balancer and you can pull it out. As you pull it out you have to change the length of the drive pins. So that's what I'm doing now is pulling out the short drive pin and putting in a longer drive pin so I can get the harmonic balancer the rest of the way out. Not having a ton of patience here, I give it a shot with the cordless ratchet. And that seems to work. So you can see the pads there where that grabs on. So I'm starting to take the bolt off to get that wire loom that comes through there, that little plastic. So there's a 10 millimeter bolt on the right hand lower side of the uh, oil pan. And once you remove that, then you can push that whole assembly to the left and then that comes down. So don't just pry on it it has some hardware that's attaching it. Now to get the timing cover off, there's actually two bolts on the oil pan that are screwed up into the timing chain cover. So those definitely have to be taken out. And then there's also one bolt that's hidden behind the air conditioning compressor. It's not really hidden, you can see it. You just have to wiggle a wrench in there and we'll see that in a little bit here. You can fit the wrench like uh, there is a little bit of an area that allows you to get that wrench in there to loosen it. And once you get it loose, you can spin it out. Then the timing chain cover, you pull from the top and it will loosen up. So there's a little bit of a tab up there. Now underneath we're going to drain the oil and get the oil pan down today. So we definitely need to get the oil out of the pan before we loosen it up and take it down. We also need to take the filter off. Um, there's some hardware up there that needs to come out. And I just tried a couple different ways of getting that oil filter out of there, but we're going to give this oil filter wrench a try. Oh, come on! Why don't you want to freaking grab? Oh, wow! Why would that be so tight? No! Oh, wow! There's no reason for that to be that tight. If anybody has any idea why that oil filter would be so tight, just leave a comment down below. So as I'm letting it drain, I'm kind of preparing for the next steps. We're 
We're gonna pull down his cross member. We're gonna disconnect the drive shaft. We're gonna disconnect the power steering rack. We're gonna unbolt the axles. And then we're gonna lower the diff out of there. Only because I wanna pull the oil pan down unobstructed because I'm putting a new oil pump on and I want to make sure that I get everything right I want to have everything as clear as possible so using the electric impact I'm able to get the bolts out pretty easy for them being under the frame like that they actually were pretty easy to, to take off they came out um, with no major issues then you just pry that cross member down I marked all of the U-joints to make sure that when I put it back together, I put it back together the same way. Then I use a pry bar in between and loosen them. Once they're loose, I grab that handy dandy cordless ratchet again. So it seems like a lot of work to get the oil pan out but in essence it's only four kind of bigger steps. Then I mark the drive shafts the same way. That way I know exactly the orientation to put it back. They come off pretty easy. Just back it up a little bit with a pry bar. So we're taking out the differential now. Some uh, pretty tight fasteners up there. I don't know if they corroded in, but I definitely struggled to get the two on the driver's side out. It was it was a nightmare just had to get a big bar on the end of my ratchet. Okay, these are insanely tight, which is ridiculous. Jeez. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Whew. Can't believe how tight they were. So then we just lower it down. You have to lower the passenger side down further because it kind of hangs up in the way it's fit in there. It comes out, it comes out, just needs a little wiggling. So here we're pulling out the bolts for the power steering rack. There's four of them. Then you just let the power steering rack hang there. That bolt's gotta come out and what that'll do is remove the hanger for all of those wires and transmission lines. That needs to come out and then this whole bundle of junk will get out of the way. So now that we have everything out of the way, we can finally start taking the bolts out of the oil pan. The biggest problem is the pickup tube actually is kind of fitted into some sheet metal baffles inside the oil pan. So it really needs to come down straight Imagine with a two-wheel drive truck, it comes off easier, but with four-wheel drive, you definitely have some work to do. So I'm just going around now, taking all the pan bolts off, getting everything worked out, getting everything prepared to, to bring down. It didn't just pop down, that's for sure. Uh, you had to really kind of wiggle back and forth and do a little bit of pounding on it but 
it does come down. So we're getting to the end. Uh, next one will be taking care of the heads and cleaning everything up. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share if you like what you see. Thanks a lot and have a great day.